Hey everyone, my name is Devin, and I'm here today to teach you how to survive AP Lang. Most of you have probably had your fair share of experience in pre-AP or AP classes. However, for most of you, this is the first time that you have taken multiple AP classes at once. If ever there was a time to perfect your time management skills, it would be now. Also, procrastination just simply doesn't work in junior year. If you're procrastinating in five different classes or more, it's pretty much impossible to catch up whenever you start slipping behind. Trust me, I know from experience. If you ever need to accomplish a large task, all you have to do is simply chop it up into more manageable smaller sections and accomplish one day by day. Throughout the year, you'll read your fair share of books. However, most of the most popular texts come at the end of the year. These include Great Gatsby and Catcher in the Rye. Most, if not all, of the texts you'll read this year are known as staples in the English community. That is to say, there are many, many other kids all across the U.S. also reading these titles. In an effort to enjoy these books as much as possible and to get nearly everything you can out of them, I suggest taking them seriously. Not in a not-so-fun way of taking them seriously, but taking them seriously in the sense of not just reading the spark notes. It actually does you well to read the books themselves, and you'll have a far better level of comprehension than those who just simply go to the internet to read. Oh no, the desks are all arranged in a circle. This means two things for most people. One, you probably forgot to do your Socratic seminar questions, and two, the next hour to hour and a half is going to be filled with an awkward silence. Nearly every English student can tell you right away that this is a Socratic seminar. All joking aside, these Socratic seminars give you a really great opportunity to voice your opinions. They allow you the most opportunities to grow as an individual and really enable you to explore places in your mind that you may not even know have existed. In my opinion, this is the nexus for learning in AP English. Well, that's all for my AP English survival guide. I'd like to thank you for listening, and as a parting word of advice, treat this class differently than you do your other classes. Many other classes like math and science, they're, they don't require much more thought than being able to regurgitate what you read from a textbook. English, however, this truly shapes your mind and changes who you are as an individual, so I'd like to suggest that you don't simply procrastinate and everything and uh, take this class seriously. Thanks.